का है अच्छा जी आज के जो अभी लग्जरी होटल क्या है लग्जरी क्यूब Today we're comparing the world's cheapest capsule hotel of $7 a night with the world's most expensive of $175 a night. And right now we're arriving to the world's cheapest capsule hotel, which let me tell you, my expectations are absolutely through the roof. As this capsule hotel, although being cheap, is one of the world's top ranked capsules that has not one but two different types of custom built pods. And this is literally just to start with later exploring a never before seen mega capsule that looks like literally a spaceship. Are you here first time? Yeah, first time. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, really cool? I'll show you. Okay, well. I'm not sure in European size, actually. The biggest one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wearing big shoes. <laughs> Holy crap, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the spaceship-like hotel with airplane-looking pipes on the wall. Of course, a massive ode to SpaceX. The most posters of space I've ever seen in one location. Insanely cool Japanese smart toilets with controllers that make you feel like you're playing a video game. With being able to change the settings like opening up the lid automatically. Freaking heating your seat using a powerful bidet with a blow dryer, so putting on music in your own stall to ensure privacy, and having heated floors in the bathroom with also quite nice showers and sinks. However, probably the coolest amenity to see before we go into the capsules are the futuristic lockers. With being this spacey white color with huge amounts of space to put your bags, and with these massive super cool numbers with mine being 007. Now how this hotel works is there's completely different capsules in each room with themes around different movies and TV shows. Of Futurama, Interstellar, Star Wars, Blade Runner, Guardians of the Galaxy, and the Fifth Element. In the world's cheapest capsule we came here for is in the Star Wars room, but we're first gonna check out the capsule that's $10 a night and supposedly one of the most unique in the world in the interstellar room. Oh my gosh, just take a look at this three floor setup. Having three capsules stacked on top of one another and spread literally everywhere around the room. I have never seen anything like this before. Now for the capsule we of course took the highest level, which let me tell you, is a bit scarier than you would think to get up there. Like, I wasn't definitely trembling there. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Arriving in the capsule one of two, it honestly feels like a dream. With having this beautiful star pattern on the ceiling, and with this super futuristic high-tech mirror. Now, surprisingly, the $7 capsule is the new one with a crazy amount more of high-tech features, but this one is actually surprisingly efficient with its space. With being quite large in width, being three-fourths of a bobby roll, and with the ceilings not only being quite high, but also padded. Now, in terms of the comfortability, in this capsule, it's absolutely top-notch. With having not one, but two pillows, a ridiculously comfortable comforter, with a mattress that's not exactly something that you'd find on a bed, but I guess you would call it like a padded futon. And overall, everything is absolutely incredibly made. With having three perfectly placed out lights, making you feel like you're actually in a full-blown room, a tiny little coat hanger, which for me is my mask hanger, a nicely placed plug, and not one, but two very, very important air vents. And I've also never seen this before, but for safety, a fire alarm. However, the one thing that I'm not exactly a fan of is the door of the capsule, being literally a window shade. <laughs> Which, let me tell you, as you'll see in the world's cheapest capsule, is definitely not the case, with having a freaking door. Like, what? <laughs> Opening the door to the world's cheapest capsule hotel makes me wonder how it's possible to make a $175 capsule hotel. Like, when you arrive, you have this door that fully locks with a locking cord as if you're in an apartment or a hotel. But also, everything in this capsule feels originally designed with having this beautiful white head cushion, full-on control panel controlling literally everything from the air conditioning to the different futuristic lights of blue, green, purple, and yellow to two different reading lights at both the front and back of your capsule. To, of course, the TV that is freaking mounted to the capsule itself. Now, on this TV, I just kept on getting more impressed with it having not only different TV stations, but Netflix and, of course, YouTube streaming your latest subscribe channel. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, shameless plug. Please subscribe. <laughs> now, although this is literally the world's cheapest capsule, it's very surprisingly the most comfortable I've ever been in. With being an absolutely massive one full bobby roll and not only having an incredibly comfortable pillow, but also a full on mattress, which let me tell you in other capsule hotels is not the case. Now being six foot three, typically capsules are way too small for me. But both the length and width of this capsule are massive. And I kid you not, big enough to do things like yoga or even a somersault. Okay. <laughs> Well, maybe not a somersault. Okay, well, that was about the worst somersault ever, but moving along. <laughs> now, probably the coolest thing about this capsule is literally in every place you hang out, you have all these little storage spots of all different sizes to put things like your phone, but also you have a bunch of plugs and USB chargers that can fast charge your phone. Now, in terms of the amenities, they of course provide headphones, but also surprisingly, a towel, which most hotels at this price point would charge for. And of course, we have an absolutely massive down comforter that is ridiculously comfortable. So from the design to the comfortability, this is truly the nicest capsule I have ever been in. And the fact that it comes at $7 a night, I am impressed. But let me tell you, we haven't seen anything with this expensive capsule being literally something people call a modern wonder and with the amenities that some guests call the absolute best in any capsule hotel. Oh my God, what? <laughs> just take a look at this capsule hotel. Like it literally looks like a space pod just like fell down from the sky and landed in the middle of the beautiful Alps. It is super cute. It looks like an egg. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the design is amazing, but supposedly what's inside will blow your mind. As this capsule is 100% fully sustainable with not one, not two, but five freaking rooms to explore inside this capsule. So time to go inside. Holy crap, oh, wow. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this capsule. This honestly feels like closing a spaceship's door right here. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, first up, I never thought I'd be saying this, but welcome to the Capsule Hotel's kitchen. With having an electric burner completely powered by the solar panels and wind turbines, a sink with water that comes 100% from the rainwater collector that also is fully flexible, so if you want to go outside and brush your feet off with the water. You can do that. And in this kitchen, the thing that really impresses me is just the amount of things that they fit in here. Is it a dishwasher? Oh no, it's a tiny fridge. Oh, what? Oh there's a God. fridge here too? And then when you open the door over here, there's a freaking bathroom, which again, in a capsule hotel, is insane. With having a sink that doubles as being a normal sink, but also turns into a shower, an ecological toilet, and again, I'm freaking impressed by the amount of space in here. Like, there's another cubby here, which has some more toilet paper. Oh, this is actually where you take the toilet paper from. So I literally can't even comprehend how this is a thing, and we haven't even seen the best part yet of the bedroom. Look, there's a iPad on the wall. Oh, cool. Whoa. Come here, come here. Look, look, look. Oh, that that's so is good. so awesome. 89% and charging. Oh. So definitely the coolest thing about this capsule, in my opinion, is the technology around it. So, so basically we're in like a battery. The capsule is a battery itself, and right now it's 89% charged. And it's getting charged from the sun, the wind, the grid, everything like that. And it actually like shows us what we're using right now. Look, they're doing the same thing about water. Oh, wow. So, wait, wow, it has three tanks. That's so cool. Wait, what is gray and black? Is it like poop water? <laughs> oh, it is, it is. It oh is, my God. It is not poop water. It is what? urine from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> We can measure the amount that we pee. Now, the iPad's cool, but probably my favorite thing about the tech in this capsule is the air conditioner, which is controlled on either the iPad or the beautiful control pad here. Okay, so welcome to the living room. And I say living room because this capsule is so big that you have your own adjustable desk where you can hold up and down. And look at what they have left us, some cookies and wine from the region. Oh, wow. It's like a tiny producer. Two wine. wine, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how they've managed to just like fit so much into such a tiny space, actually. Like, in this living room, they don't have one, but literally all these storage places surrounding the living room, allowing you to make the living space 
super comfortable. Okay, now I've been to a lot of capsules, but this bedroom is definitely the best I've ever seen. With having the choice of a single bed or a massive double bed. Like the bed is perfectly fitted by both walls here. And the size of this bed is absolutely massive. Like in Bobby rules, this, wow, is one. 0.5 Bobby room. And yeah, it's actually like awesome because there's so many like tiny little things in this room. Like for example, over here, beautiful, like, tiny bed Relaxing, and I really love this light. Like, this oh, is wow. like kind of a reading light. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking cozy. Now, in terms of the amenities, this is possibly the best grouping of things I have ever seen in a capsule hotel. As you don't just get headphones or a toothbrush, but you get full-on meal vouchers to the award-winning restaurant with different types of delicious Swiss foods, such as roasties, and with the food, some of the best views we've ever seen from a restaurant. On top of that, you get food vouchers to this small mom-and-pop shop that sources a bunch of products from this town and surrounding towns, which we use for breakfast making some of the most delicious eggs we've ever tasted, fresh bacon strips, and of course, delicious coffee. Eggs, bacon, capsule, coffee, mountains all around us. This capsule is definitely getting rated very, very high. But actually now Lucille and I are headed to explore a capsule that I've never seen before. It has one of the coolest vibes I've ever seen in any capsule hotel. And it's going to be the first video on Lucille's channel. It's her first video that she's ever done, so please go watch it, go subscribe to her, and she would really like that. Yes, I will love it. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's nervous, go, go subscribe. Thank you. Bye.